Time for today's update here. Sunday, August 9th. Today was a grind for everybody. Uh, I only know of two boats out here that tagged out on their Chinook. I don't know of anybody who limited out the boat on both Chinook and Coho or even all Coho. Uh, even out in the ocean was a bit tough. Now, that might have been attributed to the fact that we just had the front that came through. And this morning we had east wind, which is very rare down here. So sometimes that barometer changing like that will throw these fish off. And honestly, the amount of fish that we saw, we should have had a lot more bites, but they just weren't chewing. Uh, our tally for today, we ended up uh, keeping four, releasing one and missing a few others and losing a couple really nice Chinook. So all in all, I mean, you can't complain about a day like that. It was great. And the fact that we not only caught a handful of fish, but that they were really good quality fish. The Chinook that we kept were studs. They were tankers. They were all 24 to 28 pounds. The two we lost were right in that same category. All the fish I'm seeing coming up to the dock are all 20 plus. I mean, th there were some really, really nice Chinook caught today. Um, as far as where the bite was, just put your boat in the water. Uh, there was no consistent bite anywhere. Our bites happened throughout the day, all parts of the tide everywhere from Hammond and the checkerboard all the way out towards Chinook and Ilwaco, all the way up to the shipwreck. So it's just a scattering of fish everywhere. You just need to keep, oh, photo bomb from Cameron Black. Oh, it's Cameron's deck in. <laughs> yep, uh, Cameron actually got into a few fish today too. So, uh, but he struggled as well. Again, everyone had a hard time here today. So, um, if you're coming out here tomorrow in the next couple of days, hopefully that east wind doesn't blow. That might help things out a bit. Blades were it for me today, and it really didn't seem like it mattered as long as you were close to the bottom. There's Cameron. <laughs> hey. So again, blades work best for us today within a couple feet off the bottom. Uh, give that a shot. And it was again that brass and red blue dot. That one did the best today. We had a couple bites on others, but that one's been the consistent one. Flasher color. Man, it, I don't know. There weren't, weren't enough bites today for me to really tell you that there's a consistent pattern on a flasher color or a depth or even a location. So hopefully tomorrow I can give you guys more info, a little bit better pattern. But today was a grind. Scratched out some fish, but there were some studs. So get down here. There's still going to be some great fishing. A lot of schnook around right now. And we'll start seeing the coho as the tides start getting bigger. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully earlier.